Cancer is a mitochondrial metabolic disorder. Otto Warburg was the first to define cancer as a metabolic disease. The field went off the track thinking that it was a genetic disorder. We have now accumulated enough information to show that cancer cannot be a genetic disease. It's a mitochondrial metabolic disease. But uh, I'm not, I, I now having, having looked at in detail all the major cancers uh, we have never found a cancer with a normal number structure and function of mitochondria or having a normal uh, sufficient oxidative phosphorylation, meaning that every major cancer will be susceptible to ketogenic metabolic therapy because every major cancer has the same pathological problem. Uh, and I get a little peeved when I hear people say that, oh, we've made enormous progress in cancer. Or, the progress was the anti-smoking campaign predominantly. Very None of these new drugs are having any major effect on dropping death rates. And that's because they think that cancer is a genetic disease. And if it's a mitochondrial metabolic problem, uh, you're never going to get a, a, a reduction in, in death rate. All major cancers are a common disease of energy metabolism. And metabolic therapy targets that common pathological problem, meaning that we have a strategy for managing all major cancers. And, and I, we have the scientific evidence to support uh, what, what I'm saying. So we must view it as that and, and develop strategies and approaches knowing that 